what do you think was the future for the Spurs, Mark? Uh, no, that's what didn't mean as much as, as uh, people are thinking that, hey, the Spurs dynasty is done. Mm -hmm. No, like no, the Spurs no. didn't, the Spurs dynasty surrounded with, you know, starts with Kawhi. And if Kawhi wasn't there, it doesn't mean much that they, they got swept and their dynasty is over. I know uh, there's three of dynasty with Duncan, Parker, and Ginobili are pretty much close. The window is pretty much close to it because mm -hmm. of their age. But they're having a new dynasty, and then it started with Kawhi. And I think this offseason is going to be very busy for them. And uh, there's already talks about Chris Paul having interest in playing Ooh. for the Spurs. So if this that be a bad pick pulls up. through, mm -hmm. you got a really good point guard with a really good two-way player forward like Kawhi, mm -hmm. right? And I'm not sure what they're going to do with LaMarcus too, right? Because seeing what happened, and he, he Papa's called him out. Because he wasn't times. playing very well. Mm -hmm. Papa's called him out a couple of times, and it's still, the last game still nothing from him, yeah. right? And I think Pop is very, you know, he has standards in terms of the players that he wants to have, to, who wants to coach. And if you see something like that, I think there might be a shakeup in terms of where LaMarcus could be. Mm -hmm. Does LaMarcus still have a contract? He's still on their contract, right? Yeah, he is, in terms, but it's a possibility he could be traded. Right? Which I, I hope, I hope that he, because he's, he's performed very under underwhelming with yeah. Uh, for the Spurs and they needed him imagine they probably would have Given at least two one two games with or without Kawhi with LaMarcus Aldridge playing very well um, But I mean LaMarcus Aldridge it was a very disappointing uh, game from him. You know, what's also disappointing There's no believing no, no, he's not leaving yet. We're but, not sure. We're yet. not it's sure still, But the thing is he here. reacted very much like it was done. It was more of the season was done and it ended Come on, Ginobili is a very. I know, I know what you he's mean. A yeah, you, you know what I'm what saying. You he's a but if you look player. at it closely, everyone kind of it's kind of this like unspoken like. But like you're everyone had this of, body language like it was done. Like everyone was saying bye to him already. It's not that. It was more of look at him since he got into the NBA playing for Argentina. He's a very competitive player. Mm -hmm. If he got swept, at the type of player that he is, you, you're interpreting it like he it's his career. He's retiring. But I interpret it in terms of. He's a very competitive player that wants to win. If you get swept, you would have the same reaction. And I don't people know, are interpreting no, okay. it. I don't Mark, know, man. Mark has, Mark has a good point, but I, but I kind of do okay. see it's over. I think, I think he's I'll gone. play both sides. I think but he's retired. Mark, what Mark is saying, yeah. he was disappointed that they lost in a sweep. Mm -hmm. and they, they got swept, right? And then you're saying, because how just, just how Coach Pop brought him out, just in case that this might be a last year. Because Coach Pop doesn't, doesn't know what his decision is. No, mm -hmm. no he didn't know what Duncan was going to do. He didn't know that Duncan so was retiring. So for your That's for your true. sake, yes, we understand that it, it might look like it, just because Pop did it just in case. Basically, gave him the respect. Also, gave him the respect to make him as a starter, play as a starter for his, potentially the fourth game, mm -hmm. fourth and last game, which they lost. And then Mark's point that oh yeah, he was def definitely disappointed that they could probably get another run yeah. with or without Kawhi, and maybe have Kawhi in the next round. And then you know, but he was definitely def disappointed. But I think his retirement depends solely on what the, the, the makeup of the Spurs coming into next season because he just, he just comes off the bench. He plays literally less than 25 minutes a game and he's mm -hmm. been doing that his whole career. So it's not like he's doing, he has a really large workload I had for, of him for the Spurs. Yeah. He has a specific role for this team and in terms of when the coming season happens, it, I think his decision will be based on whether how um, the makeup of the team looks like it's a very high chance that they'll contend again to the close to the NBA Finals. And if they are, I think he will come and stay because his role will not change. Just it's one, the same role. One thing mm -hmm. I'll just, before we mm -hmm. move on, uh, I say he has one more year in him. Okay. At least one more If year. they do get Chris Paul, that's for sure he's going to... Uh, just if they do get Chris Paul? If they, if they get a, 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 still a player, one year. Still a player one more of year. caliber of Chris Paul or Paul George. I think, I think it doesn't Along matter. the lines of a star that can, that can uh, go with Kawhi because they thought that was going to be Aldridge, but... It, at this point, Aldrich is not close to what they were hoping mm -hmm. him to be. Man, I was just kind of sad watching that because I was watching the the last few minutes of him on the okay. court, and when Pop when Pop took him out, like everyone was chanting his name. Well, yeah, because they don't know. That's, that's the, the thing. That, I know, but they don't that's know what he's gonna leave. That's, what a, that's the Warriors' effect on the fact that they got they got slapped so bad <laughs> that it made it look like oh god, right? Because if if they're losing that bad, like why would you want to put Ginobili in? 
right? And that's not the kind of player he is. He's not, he, he comes into the game every single time. He's very consistent in terms of his effort and in terms of his will to win, right? You've seen him, like, he's, he's probably, he probably played the best, he was the best player for the Spurs the last few games for them. And he's 39 years old. So, Vince Carter's that's just, the, right? It, it, it just looked <laughs> like he was, he was done just because of the, the turnout of the game. They were, they were getting slapped. Yeah, so absolutely. why it, it like you know why he's usually the guy that comes on during the games that are close. So why would if he takes him out, he just feels like because there's no point of him being. It's okay, there. PJ Spurs. The, there's always next year. He, no, I know <laughs> he's I'm one of my Spurs guy. But he's like, one of the players that I like. But I kind of do feel like I feel like I have this telekinetic vibe. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I feel like I know. He, like okay, it's yo, 